In 2017, something crossed the sky at an unbelievable speed. It didn't come from here. And what it did before disappearing challenges everything we know about the laws of physics. You are watching the Scientific Files channel and prepare for this journey. Its name is Oumuamua, and it was the first interstellar object ever detected passing through our solar system. Its discovery occurred on October 19, 2017, when the Haleakala Observatory in Hawaii captured its presence. Initially classified as a comet, then reclassified as an asteroid, it ended up receiving a unique designation, 1I Umuamua, where the I represents its interstellar origin. The choice of name, which in Hawaiian means scout or distant messenger, already anticipated the mystery to come. The most intriguing part began when astronomers charted its trajectory. Unlike common objects that orbit the sun, it exhibited a hyperbolic path, which means it was not bound by our gravitational system and would not return. It entered and exited in a nearly straight line at a speed of about 87 kilometers per second. But it wasn't just its speed that caught attention. When it passed the closest point to the sun, instead of slowing down as expected, it accelerated, a small yet real acceleration that could not be explained by solar gravity alone. For a natural object, this acceleration is extremely rare. Comets, for example, gain momentum as they approach the sun because the ice on their surface turns into gas, releasing jets that act like small propellers but Oumuamua showed no signs of such behavior. No visible tail, no trace of dust, no hint of gas was detected. Powerful telescopes, such as Spitzer, attempted to find clues, but all they obtained was silence and a brightness reflected 10 times stronger than normal, as if its surface were made of polished metal or something equally reflective. Additionally, its unusual shape sparked even more curiosity. Based on the variation in brightness, researchers suggested it had an elongated shape, perhaps resembling a spinning cigar, or extremely thin, like a blade or disc. It also appeared to be in chaotic rotation, with no fixed axis. This whole combination speed, anomalous acceleration, absence of a tail, and strange shape made it something unprecedented. An object that, for the first time, forced science to consider that we might not just be facing a lost rock in space, but something that came from very far away, carrying with it a still undecipherable secret. The discovery of Oumuamua raised a question that remains unanswered. Where exactly did this object come from? To try to uncover its origin, astronomers reconstructed its trajectory, tracing the path back for millions of years. All indications were that it had approached our system from the direction of the constellation Lyra, more specifically from the star Vega. But even with detailed simulations, it was not possible to identify an exact point of origin. The reason is simple. Space is dynamic. Stars move, systems change position, and after so long wandering, Oumuamua could have been launched from practically anywhere in the galaxy. This enigma becomes even more complex when considering its unusual trajectory. Unlike comets that come from the Oort cloud, which are still gravitationally tied to the sun, Oumuamua showed no signs of connection to our system. It was merely a visitor that passed through here too quickly, with speed and angle indicating an origin beyond the boundaries of solar influence. And since it appeared so suddenly, there was little time to study it. By the time it was identified, it had already passed its closest point to the sun. Within a few days, it was moving away at such a high speed that even the largest telescopes could no longer gather useful data. Still, as fleeting as its passage was, Oumuamua triggered a race to better understand how such objects can emerge and be detected in advance. It is estimated that thousands of interstellar bodies cross the solar system every year, but they are too small and too fast to be noticed with the resources we had until then. 
the new generation of telescopes like the Vera Rubin could change this, offering broader and more advanced observation windows. But perhaps the most striking feature of Oumuamua was its conceptual impact. Never before had science needed to create a new category of object to classify something that crossed our sky. It was designated as 1I, the first interstellar object officially recognized. And with this new classification, a new field of study was born, that of rocks coming from outside. It forced us to consider that the space between the stars may not be as empty as we thought, and that pieces of other worlds, or perhaps creations of other intelligences, may be quietly passing between the planets. Amid this mystery, Oumuamua opened not just a debate, but a new way of observing the cosmos. Perhaps Oumuamua was just a wandering rock, or perhaps it was something much rarer, a silent message crossing the void. What is certain is that it came from afar, passed too quickly, and left us with questions that still echo in space, and no definitive answers. Not yet.